is Ian from RTO here. Welcome to the second birthday top 10 of the day. Um, and the second of three top 10 rundowns, because we've got a top 10 rundown to do as well. Uh, this one is for Father Stack. And this year we're going to do his US birthday top 10. Oh, Father Stack was born on... October the 17th 1987 which back in the day was a Saturday not a leap year now Father Stack is what they call a millennial um, his Chinese zodiac is year of the rabbit and his birth sign is Libra US president in 1987 was Ronald Reagan um, we're gonna have a look at some birthdays we've got uh, one heavenly today and two birthdays. So the first one, 1946, is a heavenly birthday to drummer from the Doobie Brothers, Michael Hossack. He was a drummer between 71 and 73 and then from 1987 up to his death in 2012. 1974, British actor Matthew McFadden or Miss McFadden. He was in Spooks. He's been in quite a lot of other stuff as well. He was born on this day. And he, while working in Spook, on Spooks, he met his future wife, Keely Hawes. She was also in that. 1983, sorry. Felicity Jones was born. Uh, she's an actress and she play, was in Rogue One. In the Star Wars movies, and she was born in Birmingham. So we we'll thought we'd have a look at some history now, or events that happened in past years. 1968, a film directed by Peter Yates premiered. It's Bullet, of course, starring Steve McQueen and Jacqueline Bissett. What a great car chase in that movie. Now here's a humorous one. Back in 2008, Iran tried to going for a world record to create the world's largest sandwich but they failed because the crowd started to eat it before it could get measured what a bummer and in 2012 the controversy of the doping scandal of Lance Armstrong made it he lost a host of endorsements in the wake of this anyway we're not here for uh history and birthdays we're here to look at the top 10 singles in america when father stack was born so let's cue the music and uh, let's get on so at number 10 down six places i heard a rumor rumor from banana rama now once they went and wor worked with stock aching and waterman they've just become part of this british awful sound it's an absolutely bad song don't like it. Their singing's great, but the production is terrible. Okay, at number nine, we have a non-mover for John Mellencamp and Paper in the Fire. Once again, overproduced. It is a good song, but it's a bit poppy for John Mellencamp. At number eight, up two places, Casanova by Levert. This is why I don't like 80s music, pop music. It's plastic, it's synthy, it's too produced not very good at all at number seven we have a non-mover heart who will you run to a great track um probably the best track off the bad animals album and i really do like that song what a vocal from Anne wilson at number six last week's number five and down five places white snake and here i go again now this is the remix awful version i just don't like this version at all it didn't hasn't got the same atmosphere as the original and I'm, when I mean the original I mean the one from 1983 this was just built for American market and MTV and they changed the words a bit as well it went to a drifter from a hobo not a very good version of it I have never liked this song from the day I heard it okay number five up six places Madonna's causing the commotion a song that's not traveled well for her it sounds very dated this one never been a favorite of mine okay number four up four places for michael jackson and bad quite a good record this is i remember this coming out i was in my 20s and i thought it was one of the better songs that he brought out at number three 
we have a non-mover for Europe and carry probably the worst song on the final countdown uh, it's just a ballad MTV fodder I just didn't get it but the American public loved it hence why it got to number three okay at number two up three places now this is a great pairing Prince featuring Sheena Easton and you've got the look it's one of the best tracks off Sign of the Times and it's got a really good guitar solo on it but we had a new number one and it was up one place and it was number one for this week only and it uh, is Lost in Emotion Lisa Lisa and the Colt Jam Plastic 1980s twaddle no good mm, I don't even remember this song I don't know if it even got to chart it over here but it's not very good so there we go uh, Father Stack there is your top 10 on the day you was born and this was what was moving and grooving in America okay up next we're at will be video 3 and it is group B of Battle Royale 2 the singles and we're going to look at singer-songwriters today. And it is John Lennon's Imagine, Phil Collins in the Air Tonight, Gary Newman's Cars, and Kate Bush's Wuthering Heights. So join me for that later. Bye for now.